Welcome to SI47, Gus Banks once again. Uh, I'm going to talk about Simpsons tchotchke, or Simpsons swag, just the little trinkets that I have in front of the World of Springfield play sets. Uh, but I want to bring you up to date on a few things. First of all, if you'll notice, the uh, SI is looking a little cluttered. This is due in large part to the lovely Mrs. Banks, who is rearranging her office and has decided to keep this stuff here for a little while. I'm going to humor her for about another month, and then it's going into the garage. And you may remember my Simpsons wish list. I wished for the Simpsons Bartman Superman. Oh, uh, there it is, right there. Uh, it's not in the best condition. I was hoping for a little bit of a uh, more mintier packaging. It's yellowed and it's a little torn here and there, but it's still good. I've got it. So the Mattel line is now complete. All right. So let's talk about this. Starting over here, this is uh, from Rocket USA. These are uh, die cut metal, die cast metal, and they're painted. And this was a good set. They only made two series of it though. First the family, and then some of the extra characters like Grandpa, uh, Willie, and Krusty. But I wish they would have made a few more of these because these were pretty good quality. And then these are the Mattel figures out of box. I got the whole family there. And then here, Krusty and Homer. These are all drink bottles. And these were uh, sculpted very nicely too. And of course you got to have them bagged and tagged. Not bagged, just tagged. There you go. All right, moving down here. Uh, you may remember these uh, from the Sabritas line when I did the foreign products. This is the uh, indoor set and the outdoor set. This set is very tiny if you compare it to the other set. Um, it's from an Australian candy bar. I think it's Australian Milky Way, if I remember. Or Lucky Dip. It's, a, it's the Lucky Dip line. That's right. But it's five pieces. And moving down here. Oh, I'm going to talk about this too. This is the Homer dashboard. Uh, you put him on your car. He's a little loud. I'll, I'll play him for you. Yeah, yeah. Quit your waving. I'll move through the intersection when I'm good and ready, officer. You just put that on your car if you want to. All right. Uh, these are the Bust Up uh, series. Uh, there was five sets. And the first set that came out was in the little coffin. And these are plastic. Uh, boxes. They're really nicely done. And um, let's see if I can show them to you. You take them out and you can make a little sculpture out of it. Some of them had variants which is like a solid plastic color, green or pink or whatever. And those are probably a bit, a bit more valuable. I may have one. I don't know. I haven't taken them out of the box. So that's series one and two. Series three and four are right here. And these are all great. These are all hard boxes. And then Series 5 came out. Look at this. Uh, plain cardboard. So you knew that was going to be the end of the line. So those are probably going to go in storage next year. Take you up here. These are uh, candy toppers from Joy, Homer, Maggie, Krusty, Bart, Marge, and Lisa. And then coming into here are the Simpson Pewter Monopoly pieces. The original six that came with it. And I got an extra six more uh, from a mail-in certificate. But these are solid pewter. Well done, too. All right. Uh, this is the Maggie Halloween plush. Came out a few years ago. I just thought it was too cute. I like the, uh, the pacifier and the pumpkin to match Maggie's. And then these are the official Simpson Russian nesting dolls. Uh, you'll see a lot of bootleg Russian nesting dolls made in either Russia or Mexico, but they're not very nicely done. Let's see if I can get this off one hand. There you go. It's the whole family. Just a continuation of the Russian nesting dolls. And I'm going to use the last minute to tell you about my new Hamilton uh, purchase. Finally, this has been delayed for well over a year and a half easily. This is the Simpson sleigh. And it's the family going down the sleigh along with Millhouse and Grandpa. And it's, a, it, it's nice. Uh, I don't think it's worth the amount of money I paid for it. The base is wonderful. The characters are a little sloppy. I don't like the way Grandpa looks. He just looks kind of off to me. And there's Millhouse. But it's nice. It'll look good next to the Simpsons Christmas tree. So it's a pretty big set. Here's my hand by comparison. Looks to be about a, uh, a nine inch base. 
And I got a low number, I got 98. So anything under 100 is pretty good. All right, that's going to do it. Thanks to all my subscribers. I think I'm getting close to 500. And I will continue the swag uh, next, uh, next uh, video. Take care.